your Bond bombshell don't adjust your TV sets or computer screens or cell phones. I am a pilgrim, not a nun, a pilgrim. Okay, um, I know that I could practically be a nun because the guy I'm interested in, Mr. CB, I know I'm not supposed to mention him either, but tough. I, that's the one I wish I could be spending all my holidays with, all my time with. But right now, I'm doing what they all say and back off, give him his space, and supposedly it's all supposed to work out. You see the eye roll? Because I'm prepared to spend the holidays alone yet again. But I guess one of my friends said that would be actually better for me, so long story short, we're just going to go with what Donna's thankful for. That's a turkey. It's a turkey. Well, I'm thankful for... This has been one of the worst years, so it's about to end. I'm thankful for... Um, no more costume buying. I'm thankful for selling some of my costumes. I'm thankful for my friends, my family. They're priceless. You can never be replaced. You all are a wonderful gift from heaven. And I'm thankful for my health. Thankful for watching my diet, knowing what I want out of this life, which is to eventually, God willing, become a mother uh, and a wife to a wonderful man. I'm thankful for my Chevy Malibu. That is something I'm very grateful for. I just wish it was paid in full. I'm grateful for um, my job. I love that job dearly. I'm thankful for my pets, Peanut and Sammy, and even my stray animals. I'm thankful for um, the food on my table, the, the roof over my head, my faith in God, knowing that faith, hope, and love is the greatest gift, knowing that those three things in life is what God wants because he has a plan. And we just have to follow it and stop trying to control things. And things will follow suit. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I'm waiting for that to happen, actually. Now, I'm going to tell you. I don't really know the lyrics of this next song. And if you go back and watch me last year, I did this as the Indian. This is the first year as the Pilgrim. And honestly, this is not my favorite costume. But I know that my family is going, yes, it's my favorite costume. Um, I did a photo shoot. Those pictures will be up later. We're going to sing Turkey in the Straw, and then I'm going to probably do another one, but this is Thanksgiving number two, the final video for Thanksgiving. Can't believe that we are knocking on the door to that holiday. Our family, oh, uh, for some reason, my mother got it in her fool head that we all have to gather up before Thanksgiving and have it at her house which technically we're not even having it at her house. We're going to some place called Grandma's Kitchen, and we're going to eat a meal there, but then we're going to have Thanksgiving at Cracker Barrel. Well, I know I didn't want to eat it at her house because I kept having this reoccurring dream, and even though my hairdresser says, Donna, dreams don't like that ever come true, which I don't know if that's true or not, because sometimes some of my dreams do come true, but I had this dream last night which made no sense, and I know I'm getting off topic here, but... I really want to share this with you. I had this dream that I was sitting outside my store, but my store wasn't my store. It was a store that looked like my store, if that makes any sense. And sitting in the chair was this guy, and he had his back to me, and he wouldn't look at me, okay? But I'm sitting in the car anyway, but I can just see him sitting inside the store in the chair that's inside the store. Well, then all of a sudden the guy gets up, and he leaves the store, and he comes right over to my car. And it's Mike. And he goes, Donna, you got to leave. And I said, no, I don't got to do anything. And he goes, you don't understand. You got to leave. And now, I said, are you telling me what to do? Because I don't take orders very well. And he came back with, did you not hear me? Leave. And then I left and I woke up. So I don't know what the world that means, but I had that weird dream. And I'm like going... You know what, just once, I would like one of these dreams to come true, but I know it's just not going to happen, because dreams are just that, they're just dreams. And honestly, I'm prepared, and I'm very happy 
if, if Mr. CB cannot be a man, I, I am very prepared to have my holidays by myself. That's right. By myself. No other man. If Mr. CB ain't in the picture, I, as I told my mom, I am fully prepared to focus on my credit cards, get them paid and off and order, and I pray that happens very soon so that I can focus on the greatest gift of all, children. And let's face it, all this hard work that I've gotten my weight into check, and I'm beginning to wonder why, because I want children, but the guys that I keep falling for don't keep falling for me back. Which, that has your blonde bombshell very confused. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and sing Turkey in the Straw. Here we go. Like I said, it's not going to be spot on, but it's the holiday spirit. Because everybody's telling me, Donna, get in the spirit. Trust me, I don't think this costume could be much more spirited. Here we go. As I was going down the road, had a tired team load, tired a heavy load. I cracked my whip and the leader sprung. I said goodbye to the wagon tongue. Turkey in the straw, turkey in the hay. Roll him up, twist him up and high. Put the haw and hit that tune called Turkey in the Straw. Oh, I had a little chicken, but he wouldn't lay an egg. So I poured hot water up and down his leg. And that little chicken cried, and that little chicken begged. And the darn little chicken had a hard-boiled egg. Turkey in the straw. Turkey in the hay. Roll him up, twist him up, tie hook and haul. And tie that tune called turkey in a straw. Yeah! Okay. So, we did our Thanksgiving video. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every blind bombshell believer. Love those subscribers. Keep those numbers going up. And um, I hope that your Thanksgiving is so memorable. But it's most of all not filled with food. But faith, hope, and love. I know this year financially we're all struggling. This Obamacare has not been easy on any of us. So right now, more than anything, we need your prayer. We need you all one and all, to hit your knees tonight and pray for the very best. This old world out there, it's knocking me to my knees. If it ain't my credit card bills, it's my rent bill. If it ain't my rent bill, it's my bill on the car, you know, car payment. It's the insurance for the car. Don't get me started on that state farm. Oh, my land. Do you know I bought this car knowing that this insurance would not be as this high? Because yours truly, knock on wood, has not had a rent. And do you know it's went up? Now, isn't that wrong? It's just wrong. So, I'm asking for your prayers this holiday season. And I know that Christmas is a time for miracles. I'm not saying, Lord, please cash in on the miracles, but at least one miracle would be nice in this old world. So, faith, hope, and love. Keep remembering that. Wishing you all the best and nothing less. Happy Thanksgiving from your Von Bombshell.